My fellow traders, what's happening? Man, I had another crazy... This week is the week of crazy mornings. I completely forgot. I was laying in the bed last night and something made me say, when is my sleep study appointment? And I got up, looked at it, and it was this morning. So I had to go for my counseling this morning at 8.30 so my morning was shot again but what did i do this morning i took a trade uh, i really shouldn't have but i've been looking at this stock the night before and i thought i was pretty comfortable with it i already had the levels laid out um and it it was just a trade that didn't work um it wasn't anything i did wrong i didn't push anything it was just one of those that just didn't work um, so we'll look at that here in a minute. Uh, again, I'm excited. I'm so thankful to everybody that's been with me for these last three years. Really, that's been with me for the last six years. Um, Average Joe Trading officially came about five years ago. Three years ago, I officially started the, the community. And... Now, I haven't looked back since. So it's it's been a, an amazing ride. But the specials that I do have, $500 off the Lifetime Membership. The Lifetime Membership is you will never have to pay another dime. No matter what class I do, no matter if I do something in another community, you'll have access to that. Um, no matter where I go, no matter what I do, you're stuck with me for life. Um, and that's what the lifetime membership is. You make one payment, you never have to worry about paying to be a part of this or paying for your education. I redo classes every year, so they stay updated, they stay fresh. And everything that I can do, you got. Everything that I can give, you got. Um, but the special, other special we have, Roadmap to Success. This gives you the opportunity to go through my roadmap, the same one that I took that's got me to over a million dollars. I haven't made a million dollars in actual profits I can put in my bank, but actual trading receipts, I've, I've eclipsed that. And this is the roadmap the exact roadmap that I followed. I just reverse engineered it, laid it out. And with this, you get six months to go through it. You get um, a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session every every month. You can break that hour up in the some I meet 15 minutes every week. Some I meet every other week for 30 minutes. Or you can just do one hour a month. But it's to get you to profitability to get you to learn those skills learning how to think in probabilities not to come in and chase this strategy chase that strategy just pick one and learn how to maximize the efficiency of that strategy it doesn't matter what it is i don't care whose strategy you trade if you're not consistent executing it if you're changing it up every time you lose two or three times in a row You'll never make it. You will never be consistent. And you'll be here two, three, four years from now wondering why you could get that big trade, but then you can never keep money in your in your account. And honestly, there's some people that the reason why they trade is for that big trade. They could care less if they put money in the bank. They just want that big trade to say, hey, I made $4,000 on this trade. But you know what? For somebody that's done it a couple times, it's no big deal unless you can keep that money, you know, and enjoy it. And I don't enjoy giving it back to the market. It's just like that guy that just keeps pulling the the slot machine. He gets a big uh, winnings and he goes right back and starts pulling it again. You know, takes it and just gives it all back. And the, you know, that's not what we want to do. But that's a special that we have. The swing trade class is starting next month. Uh, we are re 
you know, I do, like I said, I do the classes over every year. We're redoing the swing trade class. I'm adding some trades to it. Uh, like the BYND trade from yesterday ended up today. We got over 18% on that. Um, you know, this morning at the open, it ripped up and hit that 133 that we had sitting there yesterday. And we're done. You know, put put in about twenty two hundred bucks on two hundred shares of BYND. You just can't beat that. And there are moves out there. They're not all like that. Some you're gonna make smaller amounts on, but we're gonna talk about those. Um, the earnings trades. You know, I'm gonna start giving you more. Um, since earnings season is in, we're we're starting to get some good. Um, Stocks reporting at the close. So you're going to start getting more earnings emails from me. Then you're going to get start getting some in the mornings or at night for earnings trades the next day that you may look at swing trading. That I believe will probably go up. You know, we're not swinging short because we're using the TD Ameritrade account. And I know somebody asked me about it on on the uh, video from yesterday. My TD Ameritrade account, I do not have twenty five thousand dollars in. I when I realized that Sure Trader was closed, um, my son tried out F one trades. That's just a I don't even want to talk about that. Um, but that's not even an option. And I didn't like the way, I didn't like the process for somebody who's a business owner or self-employed to try and open up an account at the CMEG or Capital Markets Elite Group. So I just put my money into my Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade and got applied for margin and that account was cash for a while, you know, all that time, and I got margin on it, so I'm using it. That's what we're doing the swing trades in. That's what we're going to be doing these other strategies in. So if you work full time, if you don't have a whole lot of money, you don't want to day trade, these swing trading opportunities may be for you. So that class starts uh, next month, and... As a member, you get it free. Again, all members get all classes free. I will never sell you a class or anything. Now, I may sell you my book. I don't know. I know that's a joke because I don't have a book right now. But won't be selling you anything. All right, so let's take a look at this trade today. Um, IBM, this is, I actually looked at it. This stock was on earnings. I was looking at it last night and I'm thinking this should gap up. This should gap up. It gapped up. And I was thinking that we would, um, you know, I was, I was thinking that this would give us a pretty good, um, It would give us a pretty good move, I thought. Um, but it was on it was on earnings yesterday after the close, and we gapped up. We already had the conference call, so I thought we were going to run up some more. I was thinking that it was going to set up the run. We pull back. Usually, we see that it bakes people short, and we make the run. So. It didn't do that. It baited me long and then it went short. I mean, this was a, a nice setup. I got in. Um, this thing was working beautifully. And I was looking to take profit through pre-market resistance here. And if it didn't go any further, I would have locked in some decent profit. And I'd have waited to see if it set up for trend continuation or whatever. 
Um, but because all of this support was here and it was right under the five minute opening range low, I mean, opening range high, normally I would have gotten out right here because we closed below the opening range low, I mean, opening range high. And here we made a lower low. So I would have taken this off. The problem was we were right in the middle of all of this support. And I wanted to give it an opportunity to hold support. I was within my max loss. You know, my max loss was a point. And I was well within that. And I gave it a chance. I mean, and it tried. It actually tried, but this became some massive resistance. You know, there are traders that once it puts in, they're going to make this their line in the sand. And that and that's what happened here. You can obviously see that. You know, four candles tried to break through it again and it just couldn't do it. Um, so we were done here. So I waited. And once we fell through the 100, I jumped in. Now, yeah, I could have jumped in up here. But, you know, we waited until we lost this level, got in. We had another pullback. But it never did breach the 20 here. We ran it down and hit my first target, which was a five-minute opening range low. We bounced, thought we were coming back. It did not quite get to the 200. This was my next target. It didn't even come close. And ended up going back up, stopping me out. And, of course, I get long thinking that we're going to rip up. We held a 20 for a while. We pulled back, came close to hitting my max loss here. But again, we never really, even though we closed below the 20, the 200 here, we never really got out of control. It never really lost this five minute low. And it ripped up at the close and we were able to make a couple of bucks on it. But still, end of the day, about 15 bucks to the red. Um, this morning, this this big trade here, me giving it this extra room, pretty much prevented me from making money on this half move here and then this half move here. Because that's all it was, was just half moves. And they weren't enough to overcome the um, big hit that I took. So we don't typically see this every day. It just happened today. But that was it. You know, that is it. You know, we're I'm still waiting on on BA to crack 300. Uh, had another day. It kind of got held up. We did get down to 302, but I'm waiting. You know, down swinging that in my IB account, that's fully funded. As a matter of fact, I did not even use margin on that trade. I mean, that's why I only traded 250 shares. I could have traded more than that and used margin, but I didn't. I, I wanted less chance of getting bought in while I was waiting for this thing to roll over. So that's my IB deal. And again, TD Ameritrade, I'm not at, at uh, $25,000 in that. I plan to get there. Um, but that's why as when we talk about when we had a first class, I'm going to talk about how I'm using it. And you know, we have three day trades. If we use them strategically, we can we can do really well and, and swing in between. So uh, we'll be talking about all of that. So you guys have a great night, great evening. Uh, I'm going to go get ready for my sleep study, and I will catch you on the flip side.